Howdy folks, this is your man Byron with the last video of Let's Play Crystal Caves. Low gravity. This means we have to deal with recoil here. See? Boo. But that should not, should not be too tricky. Oh yeah, careful. Those green mushrooms are still poisonous. Don't eat them. What the fuck? Okay. Now we have to do the whole thing again. Spike and the poisonous mushroom. That's over overkill, I think. Yep. Okay. Whoa, that was actually close. Okay. That stupid snake. Okay. Oh, banana. That. That was not supposed to happen. I have to take the upper way. No, screw you. Another spike. Finally, we do get the key. That's it. We can leave now. Can we? Perfect health. Yes. And that actually is the end. We have beaten the game. You collect what you consider to be a fortune and precious crystals, enough to buy you everything necessary to start a Twibble Farm. Your next stop is the local galactic trading post. See, we have 1.1 million dollars and 713 crystals. Hmm, so compared to the amount of money that we accumulated, the crystals are actually quite worthless. Okay. Three months later, poor Milo, it seems Twibbles breed at a faster rate than he expected. They've overrun the entire planet. Due to their high metabolism, Twibbles eat ten times their weight each day. They've devoured the world's entire food supply. What's worse, the Twibble fat is dead and Milo is stuck with a planet full of them. Well, what do they eat now that there is no food on the planet anymore? 
Congratulations, but your quest for riches is not yet complete. You will need to fly the Kiwi back to the Perilous Altar system and locate entirely new crystal caves to explore. Will Milo survive his next trip in the rattle trap we he calls the Millennium Kiwi? Will he survive the diabolical new traps and puzzles that await him? Can he succeed at his new harebrained get rich scheme? And how will all of this eventually lead to the galaxy's largest burger franchise? Order today and find out. Yes, um, Crystal K is actually the three part game. We've played the first part and there are two more parts to be played. And since we've beat the game, we can now, you know, enter the high score. So just in case you didn't know that I'm Byron. Now, more like that. Okay. That, my friends, was Crystal Games Volume 1 Troubles with Thribbles. Uh, quick let's play. 8 videos, I think. So I hope you enjoyed watching those videos. I surely enjoyed playing that game. Yeah. That's it. So thanks for watching and have a nice day. Bye. Hi there. I'm back. Now that we've beaten the game, I'm going to show you a few deaths here. So, you know, I always told you never ever, you know, fire a rocket at the air uh, generator. And that would happen if you actually did it. You hit an air generator. The vacuum rushes in. That is not a good thing. Boom. Dead. So, don't hit the air generator. And I told you uh, not to get sucked into that tube here. Well, that happens if you don't follow my advice. Death. Oh, that is a very nice level because we also have a green mushroom here. Whoa! So I always said, do not eat the mushroom, but if you do, whoops, you ate the poisonous green mushroom. You feel dizzy, your surroundings fade to black. Poof. No, not poof, he falls down. Okay. Boing. Death. And there's another way not uh, to die, you know, exactly, uh, but to lose a lot of hearts quite fast. See that stalagmites in the hole on the ground? You can actually fall down here and move below the level screen. See? But it is quite tricky to get out of that again. You have to do a lot of jumping and see you... Oh, that is a <laughs> graphic glitch. You lose one uh, heart going down and another heart coming up again. And you have to deal with... Oh, yeah. And of course, if you walk on that body of the snake, you will go down permanently. So, yes. <laughs> nice way to waste your hearts.